I made a big mistake. You guys beat him. At least you were supposed to. Because the timeline changed. I need to know in the future what happens to me. Hey everybody, it's Charlie. We got all kinds of plot teasers for the Flash Arrow three-way crossover that's happening this year. We found out that they cast The Monitor from Crisis on Infinite Earths. They announced that the title is going to be Elseworlds, which invokes a lot of comic book Easter eggs. So I'll try to explain what's going on with that because they did explain what's in continuity and what was going on with the different versions of the characters. There's a new round of that DC streaming service giveaway. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and leave a comment on the video. I'll name a new winner at the end of this. So big thing first, the official title is Elseworlds. If you don't know what that is, Elseworlds is a way that DC Comics uses to describe stories that don't exist in main continuity. The, probably the best example of that recently is Gotham by Gaslight, which is Batman back during the time of Jack the Ripper. All the characters are different, so obviously the main version of Batman never existed during that time period. But somebody had a really awesome pitch for a cool story, so they're like, okay, why don't we just say that this isn't part of the main continuity? So they did that with a whole bunch of different stories like Superman Red Sun. What would happen if Superman landed in the Soviet Union instead of landing in Kansas? They group those together and just call them Elseworlds. So when you say Elseworlds, usually that means that it's not the main versions of the characters. So when they announced that that was the title of this year's crossover, immediately everybody was asking the producers, does this mean that it's not going to be the main versions of the characters and it's just going to be off by itself outside of the Arrowverse continuity? And Mark Guggenheim claimed that it was not. So what they might be doing is just blending some of our characters from Earth-1 and Supergirl's Earth, obviously, with characters from other worlds. So in last year's crossover, it was a multiverse crossover. We had the Nazis coming to our Earth. It largely took place on our Earth. We had a little bit on theirs because this year it's all about introducing the Batwoman. And the main villain is someone from Arkham Asylum doing really dangerous stuff that I'll explain in a second. Some of our characters might be spending most of the time on that other Batwoman Earth, whatever they designate that. But it seemingly confirms that she's going to be from an alternate universe just like Supergirl is. So Elseworlds, the title, isn't so much to describe the continuity. It's more to describe the other worlds and the stories that are happening there unfolding while our people are doing different things on Earth-1. The main villain this year is going to be Dr. Destiny from the comics played by Jeremy Davies, who is also on Constantine. I know a lot of questions about that because the Legends won't be a part of this year's crossover. So it would be kind of funny though. Haven't I seen you from that TV show on NBC that we used to be on a long time ago? The official plot synopsis for his character is he's a doctor from Arkham Asylum for the criminally insane in Gotham City, but he might just be crazier than the inmates he treats. His machinations will draw Green Arrow, Flash, and Supergirl to Gotham City. So that doesn't really explain why they would cast the Monitor and, you know, do a larger multiverse story if he's just going to be a crazy person from Arkham Asylum. But I think the sheer fact that they cast the Monitor and he's going to be a character, they actually cast this actor, his name's LaMonica Garrett. Maybe you know him from Designated Survivor or some other big network shows. What happened is when they introduced the Monitor in the comics is that they actually just teased him on the lead up to Crisis on Infinite Earths. We all know about the Flash future newspaper, Flash Vanishes in Crisis, with a 2024 April date, which is basically the Flash season 10's finale in real life. Grant Gustin, the producers, have joked that that might be their crisis on Infinite Earths. Like, yeah, maybe we'll get to 10 seasons. Like, they never knew if that would actually be a reality for them. What they might be doing with the Monitor in this year's crossover is just implying that we'll eventually build up to that moment in a future year's crossover. But I don't think that they would do that right away. You know, like multiverse, anti-monitor, it's just way too big to go straight there. And they applied that this year's crossover was meant to be less crazy than last year's, which is why the legends aren't a part of it. So they might just be doing the comic book thing where, you know, in the lead up, Marv Wolfman would just cameo the monitor in the background of everyone's comic books like Teen Titans, Justice League, Superman. And he would just sit in his space satellite watching the heroes do whatever their adventure was that week. So when they actually got to Crisis on Infinite earths he gathered them all and said i've been watching you this whole time this is why and explained the anti-monitor to them we need to stop him from consuming the positive matter multiverse so within the arrowverse there's only 52 or 53 earths if you count earth x but during the original crisis there were actually infinite universes so i don't know if we'd eventually worked up to some idea like that but the Monitor fought the Anti-Monitor for eons till they both went dormant for about a billion years. 
Then somebody in the comics named Pariah conducted an experiment that accidentally woke up the Anti-Monitor, and that's what kicked off Crisis on Infinite Earths. So what they might be doing with Jeremy Davies' Dr. Destiny is giving him a more Pariah-type role where, yeah, he's doing something crazy in Gotham, they need to stop him, but what he does sort of tees up a much later event that leads to their Crisis on Infinite Earths, whatever the Arrowverse TV version of that event looks like. Obviously, it's not going to be exactly like the comics, but it would definitely explain why you would include Tyler Hecklin's Superman in every single episode. Because if you're just taking down criminals that have escaped from Arkham Asylum, then you don't really need Superman for that. The regular heroes are just fine. The other big thing that we just found out is that Stephen Amell was getting fitted for a mask like he was during last year's crossover when he was playing the Earth-X version of himself. In order to distinguish between the two different versions, he wore a black costume, obviously with a lot of paraphernalia on it, in a mask. So what it seems like is happening is, is some of the versions of the characters will be alternate universe people. So right now, during the first half of Arrow Season 7, Oliver is mostly stuck in prison, but obviously he's a big part of the crossover. So people are thinking that the version of Oliver that we see during the crossover will be from another universe. Steven actually jumped onto someone's tweet and did that like, you know, curious emoji, like maybe, maybe I am an alternate version of myself. Like he was just messing with people. He wasn't trying to reveal anything. But just keep in mind that Elseworlds title, the idea that you're doing most of this story on Batwoman's separate universe Earth and you have a couple different versions of the characters. Because I think they partially want to explain the Batwoman TV show, if it actually ends up happening, is in a different continuity so she doesn't run into the Earth 1 characters all the time. And they can do whatever story they want. They don't have to worry about what's happening on the other TV shows. Just like Black Lightning or just like the Titans TV show, kind of set in a different universe, not really in the same continuity with the Arrowverse shows. Right now, they're also in the middle of filming the Flash 100th episode. That's episode 8 this season because the crossover is going to be episode 9. So no real spoilers or any big details about that that they've given away other than the fact that they're going to be doing something that will honor all of the comics history and all the TV shows history. So I'm assuming just a whole bunch of cameos from their biggest characters. John Wesley Shipp actually liked my tweet about the 100th episode. So I don't think that's confirmation or anything, but that does make me think that he's definitely a part of the episode, which would make sense. It would be weird to do your 100th episode and not involve Jay Garrick in some way. But as for us meeting the new version of Reverse Flash or Flash Museum, like other big things, I've already made a predictions video for the most likely things that they'll do. Just expect them to have a little bit of fun with it and do a bunch of fan service the same way that Arrow did with their 100th episode, which is why they moved the crossover around, because normally the crossover would be episode 8 for all the shows. Fun fact about the first appearance of the Monitor in the comics, too. The first time he ever showed up in the background watching the heroes was during a Teen Titans vs. Brother Blood arc, which is kind of what they're doing the first season of the Titans TV show. Just a reminder, New York Comic Con is coming up. Hopefully they'll drop some new trailers. The Flash Episode 1 is dropping in two weeks, and the week after that, most of the other shows come back. I'll remind everybody when I post new trailer videos for that stuff. But leave all your requests in the comments below, and leave all of your monitor Crisis on Infinite Earths theories in the comments. Congratulations, Willie Rodriguez. You're the giveaway winner from my last big video. Please email me on the About page of my channel so I can get your details. Click here for that video of Spider-Man in the new black costume in Spider-Man Far From Home, and click here for that new Titans trailer. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay awesome. I'll see you guys tonight.